So you probably clicked on this video wondering how to begin investing in the stock market. And that's what I'm going to share with you today is five steps that I personally took when I began to invest. But first, if you are new to the channel and you are interested in wealth building strategies such as stock market investing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you find value in this video, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. The first step I recommend everybody to do is open a brokerage account. All right. Investigate which one is right for you first, because you want to know how they function before you actually commit to one. The second thing is, is they don't cost anything to open an account or to keep them open per month. This is the reason why I recommend having a brokerage account is because they offer educational materials that you can use to understand how to invest, as well as tools to help you find companies that you may be interested in pursuing. Another reason why is because it provides you a place to put your money while you are researching into companies that you may potentially buy that is not so easily accessible. So for example, once you put money into the account, you can use it right away. But to pull it out, it takes around three business days for that money to transfer back to your checking account. So in a sense, it's out of sight, out of mind, and you'll think twice before trying to pull it out. The second thing, which is related to money, how much money should you use or begin to invest with? And how do you get that money? What I recommend is taking about 15% of your paycheck and putting it into the brokerage account. When you have around $100 to $500, that is how much you should begin to invest with. Experiment a little bit, learn and grow and make mistakes because that's how you're gonna learn to invest the, the best. The reason why I don't recommend starting out with a larger sum of money is because the market is an emotional roller coaster, all right? Whenever the market goes up, you get super excited and you feel like you need to sell out right away. And whenever it goes down, you feel like you need to sell out and cut your losses before you lose all your money. Know that the market goes up and down on a daily basis. So when you purchase the stock, you need to get used to those emotions. And that's why I recommend starting out with something small so that you're not as worried about it. That goes into our third thing, which is which stock should you actually invest in? I mean, there are so many businesses out there that you can invest in today. What I recommend doing is when you're starting out with 100 to $500 is start out with a price range, all right? Typically with that much money, you wanna start from a range of $5 to $20. Don't go below $5 because those are penny stocks and they're high risk and they're a bad representation of what the market is like. Also, don't go above $20 because you don't have so much money to actually invest and therefore you don't want to buy individual stocks. You wanna buy them in a bulk. You wanna buy them in a lump sum. That way you can sell out portions at a time instead of just having to sell all of it just at once, all right? Now, when you're trying to figure out which company that you are interested in buying, you want to look at things like their PE ratio, their EPS, their beta, their price. If you're interested in any of these terms, I'll have links in the description below that explains what they are. You also want to look at their financial records, make sure that they are profitable. And if you know what a 10Q and a 10K is, I really strongly recommend looking into those to help you better understand what those companies are about. Always buy companies that you understand their business model and how they make their money and that you can see a potential future in. After you look at around 20 to 50 companies, you have a good idea of what is a good company and what is a bad company and which company you should buy, which is the fourth step. When you have that company, buy it. Buy as many shares as you can, which goes into the fifth step, which is hold on to them, whether the market goes up, whether the market goes down, because right now you wanna callous yourself against the emotions of your money going up and down because you have one goal in mind, buy a stock, hold on to it and let it build up and then when you feel like it is at its max or the company is going nowhere, you can sell out and make huge gains with it. Now, let me tell you about the first time I bought into the stock market. I followed these exact same steps with a few additional steps that I explained in the video. And I will tell you what those are in the story. Uh, the first thing I did was I opened up a brokerage account. I used their educational material to understand more about stock market trading. I used their tools to find uh, potential companies that I would invest in. And I finally found one that I was comfortable with. All the while I was taking money and putting it into this brokerage account, 
getting ready to buy. I got it through about $500 and I found the company and I bought as many shares as I could. The part about investigating into the company that I didn't truly understand about was the 10Ks and the 10Qs and also predicting how the company will perform in the future. So use those and try and understand more and avoid the mistake I made there. But the point is, is that I followed the steps and then I bought and then I held on. Okay, and the very first day I bought them, the next day, that dropped. And I felt a little queasy thinking, did I make the right decision? And then the next day it went up and then it went down and then it went up. And the whole time I'm sitting there like, well, this is kind of an emotional roller coaster. Like I said, anyways, one day it went up and I was up like $150. And I was like, should I sell out? And I was like, well, it could, it could potentially go up higher. So I, I held on. The next day it dropped low, lower than what I purchased them for, and it stayed down there for like a month straight. And I was like, oh, I should have sold out when I had the chance. Anyways, when it went up to where I was up $33, I decided to sell out. I was like, okay, well, I, I feel like I need to investigate more into this company before I really invest into it. Um, I kept an eye on the company and it went up and down, up and down for a good eight months. Finally, it went up and up and up. And I bought this company for, I bought these shares for about $6 and 58 cents a share. And it eventually reached $26 and some change. That would have been a $2,000, $2,600 profit from what I purchased it for. And you know what? I'm glad it didn't work out for me. I'm glad I sold out at the point I did because if I would have waited and gotten all that money, I probably would have done the same exact action of not investigating too far into the company for the next company that I would have purchased, which would have been devastating if it wasn't that good of a company and I lost all that money at that time. Now that didn't happen, but it could have. But now I know a lot more. I've learned from my mistakes and you know, you learn from your mistakes and that's what you need to do is dip your toe into the pool of investing, learn from your mistakes and grow from it. And then when you learn, you can make bigger decisions and bigger investments in the future that will help you grow your wealth. Anyways, that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.